so I'm back and today we're gonna look at something I've been dreading and that is the Studio Series Blackout. Not because it's bad, but because it's overly complex. I don't have the instructions. It took me forever to get him to helicopter mode uh, because like the Starscream, I, I got this uh, from somebody uh, loose. Uh, he did give me the instructions, but I don't know where they are now. Um, it's got a little dust on it because it's been sitting so long. And yeah, I will uh, give this a try. We'll see how, how frustrated I get with this. Uh, so yeah, and I did have to use the instructions to get him to this mode. Um, and the only thing I can never figure out is how to keep these things together. I, they just, they just, I don't know. I don't know if that's an ongoing problem or not. Um, and it's very panely, a lot of the tabs like to come out. So, so yeah, uh, definitely he's huge. I don't know if that's accurate to how he is with like an F-22, but he is, he is giant. I, I don't, and I've never served in the Air Force, so I wouldn't know exactly what size these things are supposed to be, but, uh, yeah. Um, so this can fold down if you need to. Propeller there. Rotates fine. This uh, does rotate, but it's they stiffen the joint quite a bit, and that's probably more for the robot mode, which is appreciated because um, of the way that sits on the back. And then he does have the Scorponok that just plugs up in there. Uh, Scorponok here. He's got a hinge here, a hinge here, and a hinge here, and here. And I'd say uh, he's about the right scale. Uh, you know, he's supposed to be able to be tormenting more humans and Transformers. He did show up in Revenge of the Fallen real quick and get his head punched in by Jetfire. Uh, so I'd say that's about the right scale for that. Um, but yeah, I mean, uh, he's pretty much one stationary. Or he's actually a couple pieces kind of glued or screwed together. But he's got hinge here, 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 and here. And that's really all there is to him. Nothing spectacular. Um, nice paint, though. You know, he's got some silver and gold and red. Yeah, uh, not bad. So, set him off to the side. I think we might be able to plug him in here. And this does look like a Minicon port, uh, but I'm not sure I don't have any Minicons. And we might be able to plug them in here as well. Yeah. So if you want to do that, you can. As you see, just by manipulating it a little bit, some of the panels have come undone. So let's see if we can figure this thing out. So this comes off. Uh, kind of becomes a hand weapon later on. Put that off to the side. So pull this out. I'll start with that. Um, these will come out. Those are the arms. All right, now. It's so big that it's kind of cumbersome to try and transform it. But we will try without instructions and not knowing what we're doing. Um, so that folds up, gets that all nice and neat tucked out of the way. And that just came off, so that's not right. This comes down. Go all the way back. Sure, why not? And this. It's 
got a hinge there, so I know it does something. I just don't know what. This will come down up like that. So you got the Decepticon logo there, and this I believe just comes up. And there's a slot here that opened up, and the tab there. So I'm going to assume that this will come up. place there. And there's the Blackout's head reveal. Let's work on the legs here. Rotate those around. And we got the backwards knee going on there. And there we go. And then we just kind of muddle with the foot, I guess, right? I vaguely recall some of this when I was first messing with him. So the feet, you just uh, pull this bottom panel here down, rotates around, and close it back up. It gives them some nice big shoes. Uh, with good heel spurs. This doesn't seem to... Oh, there might be something we can do here. That can fold up and in like that. If you want it to. go. I think we're good with the feet. Now the arms. Alright, um, so that needs to come down there, so we need to get the clearance out. So the hands come out. I know these are angled differently than I would have liked. Right, so that's the shoulder pad. So that locks in. This will up. This will come around. This kind of closes up like that. And I believe that is your arm. Yeah. Like that. And the hands are kind of positioned wonky. Uh, yeah. I think that's right. You can angle it this way, but then the hands are got this big bulk right there. Um, it's definitely like they didn't think it through. Uh, and then this come over there. Let's see if this comes up like this. Uh, let's finish the arm first. It's got a lot of little things going on, in case you didn't notice. <laughs> so flip out the hand, flip this over. I 
believe that was actually supposed to go back all the way like that. There we go. Alright, now this will come forward. Right. can come out like this. Right. And this comes up. Alright, so this needs to fold up somehow. Does it go up or down? Why is it not moving? Is it not supposed to go this way? time. In case you didn't notice. <laughs> uh, I'm going to try and look this up real quick. So I got the picture right here. Um, looks like it's almost right. Except this is supposed to come down a little bit further. I uh, sit right behind his head. And definitely this folds up somehow. It doesn't really give me a clear look at the back. But let's see here. Now I'm looking at it, let's see here. I don't get this at all. Is that what we're supposed to do? Why not? We'll just do it that way. See, it just doesn't tab in anywhere uh, that I can see anyway. Um, this thing's kind of a hot mess. Um, I'm just kind of wedging it in. We'll call that good enough for now. <laughs> I'm done messing with it. Um, it looks relatively right. Um, Alright, 
so yeah, there's a downside of me not trying to practice transformation, but then again, this thing is pretty complex, so I probably would have screwed it up anyway. Um, so let's kind of bend those knees a little bit more. Um, Alright, let's talk uh, posability. Um, uh, head is on a ball joint, I think. So you get the left and right, a little up, little up, little down. Uh, nothing at the shoulder there, but you got a little bit of posability here. Um, then this kind of comes out like this. Bicep swivel bends at the elbow. Hands can rotate a little up and a little down, and the thumb has a hinge on its own. Um, nothing at the waist. The hips can move back, forward, very hard ratchets, a little bit softer ratchets there. Thigh swivel, um, loose knee here and here. Uh, and then the foot has a tilt and rocker. So he's, in some places he's got some really good posability. In other places he's very limited, like in the arms. Um, the hands are just positioned incredibly, unfortunately. Uh, just, just, if they would have rotated those hands, it would have been infinitely better. Um, he kind of cleans up well. Uh, I mean, like I said, I'm, I'm going to... I'm going to chop all this up to just not knowing what I'm doing here. There is an indent here, so that is where it goes, I believe. Um, but I can't seem to find anything that will actually lock it into place. Um, now these... This thing really doesn't want to work with me here uh, and these uh, these came down like this uh, during transformation but that's where it's they're supposed to lie kind of like as a cape um, maybe that's what's supposed to hold it all together that's kind of a stretch I'd say um, all right uh, and then this you can plug into his arm I guess want to he can't really hold it um, maybe there's a way to rotate his hand in if you can do everything and nope I don't know I have no idea um, I don't know I just don't know guys um, I don't know at all uh, this thing Like I was saying, it's it's kind of a mess. It really is. Um, some, and uh, I I I'm sure I've got some things wrong, but the overall look of the arms is bad. Um, the the fact that you know they they use this piece for the bottoms of the feet, uh, which is a smoother. Plastic makes them slide a little bit easier. Um, the knees aren't friction properly. You know, you got these nice stiff, stiff ratchets up in the hips, but then you go to the knees and they're they're kind of loose. So that's not good. Um, overall, uh, you know, he looks good. Um, you know, they had to do a leader class. Because of the way, you know, he looks in robot mode. Um, so that he could only... And he's only a little bit bigger than Prime. Like, height-wise, he's got more bulk than him. But that's just because of the way the helicopter's supposed to transform. I don't know. Uh, I think this one's a fail. Uh, here he is with Starscream. Um, you know, they look good together. Uh, he'll look good on the shelf, I suppose. Uh, you know, just hopefully with the wall to stand him up against, you know, like that. You can put Starscream over next to him. Um, you know, that'll look fine. Uh, but it, definitely more of a 
definitely he's more along the lines of a uh, uh, showpiece and not a toy. Uh, he's definitely not a toy. Um, if, if you're buying it because you're like, oh man, that looks like fun, I would highly recommend not getting it um, because he is not a toy. Uh, he's a, you put him on the shelf and you pretend that that's all he does. Um, you know, the arms just look bad. They look awful. You know, I mean, just sculpt them so the hands are on the right, you know, look right. I mean, that's just, it's like if Optimus here is just like this all the time, you know. Uh, Oh yeah, we'll do the Star Scream too, you know, just It's just so unnatural to just leave it like that. Um no hinge in there, no nothing. Um, you know, from this series. Uh that's a huge disappointment, uh, in my book. That's just unforgivable. Um uh, paint wise, you know, he's got some silver detailing back here in pieces that you won't see really. Uh, a little more silver there, some black, some grayish, um, uh, some more silver, gray, some silver and red in the face. Um, little accents, not nothing major. Uh, does definitely make him look good, but I don't know. So would correct looking arms and a backpack that really locks in. Um, now the transformation's not very fun, uh, I will say that. Uh, like the Optimus was such a fun transformation, uh, figuring that one out. And the Starscream as well. Uh, his is a little easy for his scale, um, but like these two were just so much fun to transform and figure out and mess with. Um, this guy's not fun. He's He's a, uh, I dread the idea of transforming this guy <laughs> kind of uh, figure. I don't want to do it again. Uh, he's going on the shelf and I ain't looking at him again. Um, if they make a grinder, I'll do an overview of his robot mode, um, but I won't transform him. No, that's just, it's not fun. You know, I, I can't recommend this guy unless you're just looking for something to put in the back of your shoulder or back of your shelf. Um, that's the only way I'd recommend them. Other than that, I I can't. I can't do it. So, um, four out of ten, I'd say. Um, he's he. I mean, he looks good, but that's where it all ends. And the and the helicopter mode, even with the instructions, I could not get that thing to lock together properly. Um, that just yeah, it's just it's not it's not good enough. Uh, in comparison to the, se the rest of the series, um, they should have simplified this a little bit and and made it more fun to play with. Um, I, don't know. I don't know, guys. the uh, The original one might be a better fit, even if he does look different. Um, I'll see if I can find one, but. Uh, but yeah, uh, I guess that is it.